I had reached out to dog owners and asked them, what is the greatest challenge with your dog? I received 187 responses within 12 hours. One of the top 10 responses was, how do you get over the grief of losing a beloved pet? Or how do you say goodbye? I'm writing this within an hour of saying goodbye to my beloved dog Rondo, my Rottweiler of 14 years. To answer the question given to me, there is none. I've owned and loved dogs my entire life and there is no way to make saying goodbye easier. I will say that I think the reason it is painfully, incredibly difficult to face the loss of a trusted friend is because dogs fill a void in the heart of humans while on this earth that only they can fill. Personally, when holding Rondo in my arms for his last breaths, my mind was and is still racing to all of the memories of life's difficulties, triumphs, losses, tears, midnight hour moments and sleepless nights that he was there for. The running on the beach, swimming in the river, representing for the nonprofit service dog organization that I lead, or just cuddling on the couch together on those rare quiet mornings. Most importantly, the loss of my father and visiting his gravesite. Rondo was there for all of it. There have been many changes in my life over the last 14 years, and Rondo was a trusted constant. I've already cried an ocean of tears, and he deserves every single one of them. Being a single woman for all of those years, Rondo was a great source of safety for me. I think when we try to understand the human condition regarding dogs and the loss of the ones we love, I think it starts, at least for me, with the realization that my heart was always open when I was with him. Never any fear of rejection or ridicule. It didn't matter how I felt. I could say what I wanted to say with no worries about how I said it, and it didn't matter what I looked like or what time it, it was, day or night. He was always ready to lean into me and be there, no matter what. We humans don't get that anywhere on this earth. Dogs' hearts are open to us, no matter what. God made them that way, to serve humans in a very unique, selfless way. And if you've had the privilege and blessing to own dogs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is my tribute to my amazing Rottweiler Rondo. He was strong, unbelievably stable in his temperament and faithful. He had to be in every room I was in and sleep by my bedside, no matter how hard the stairs became or how many times he stumbled or fell going up or down them. He was not gonna be denied. As I cry another ocean of tears while writing this, I will say to him, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, your strength and beauty never ceased. Out of all the memories I will cherish, the last one will be my most prized possession. You in my arms for your last breath. Being there for you as you have been there for me all these years. My one moment will never repay all the moments that you gave me. But then you never asked for anything in return anyway. Goodbye, faithful friend. I will see you when I get to heaven. At least that is what I will tell myself to help me get through the tearful days ahead. I will never forget you.